Involved in numerous organizations, Carrie Kennedy is another volunteer from Niagara who has received an award of merit from the Niagara Peninsula Conservation Authority. I felt very honored. Um, I've been attending the NPCA awards nights for many years as a volunteer in various environment projects that uh, they've had going on. And I've always greatly admired the other um, recipients in previous years who've won these awards and been honored in this way. So uh, I truly feel like, uh, yes, I'm in great company and feel very appreciative of that. Kennedy, a member of the Niagara chapter of Trout Unlimited, has been involved in the Bring Back the Brookies program. Bring Back the Brookies is an education program that the Niagara chapter of Trout Unlimited Canada initiated. They realized how important education is in terms of managing and um, dealing with the threats and issues in 12 Mile Creek, our only cold water um, stream here in Niagara. So the project had two streams. I primarily worked with um, uh, education component where we provided education while people, community members, came out for planting events like the one we um, did here on this property. Uh, there's another aspect and component and that was an online learning part, so bringbackthebrookies.ca for students and teachers and community members to, to learn more about the issues in the area. By learning about brook trout and their natural habitat, we can help better protect ecosystems in Niagara. For our cold water ecosystems, it's massive. Once uh, we understand the impacts that urban development and hard surfaces have, along with deforestation, they really impact the watershed and the water course. And having trees reforesting really helps to um, bring back that water balance, absorbing water into the ground, and evens off that peak flow so that we're not having as many issues from erosion and sedimentation. Um, in addition, right close to the 12 Mile Creek, those kind of plantings provide shade and help to keep the temperature cool. So cold water species like brook trout, they need that water to be cold and they need it to be clear and clean. So these trees help and getting the water into the ground is the big piece to, to that puzzle. Along with tree plantings, the educational component is crucial to the restoration project. We hope that that education piece isn't just from this project, that these um, resources will move people forward into the future. So it's huge. People need to understand what's happening in the watershed so that they can make wise decisions. For us, you know, municipally and in our land use planning, but also personally, there are so many little things we can do to make a difference from planting a tree, planting native species, to making sure our water rain barrels are drained between rain events. For more information, visit bringbackthebrookies.ca. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.